was watching Titanic for the millionth time and I hear Rose say, I feel like I'm standing in the middle of the room screaming at the top of my lungs and no one even looks up. And this kind of is the exact sentiment that has been echoed by a lot of my young students. This feeling of being incredibly alone and like no one cares. Now though people describe it as a state of solitude or being alone, loneliness is actually a state of mind. People feel empty, alone and unwanted. And because this is an epidemic that's on the rise and I see more and more people looking for a solution, this video focuses on how to stop feeling lonely. Hello my returning viewers, thank you for your constant support. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm Sheila and this is Lumia 24. Light on! The statistics for loneliness is scary. Research has shown that 40% of the people in the age group of 16 to 24 are lonely. 40%. That is 4 out of every 10 people you meet. And across all ages, it's 33%. What is even scarier is that it is said that being lonely is equivalent to smoking 15 cigarettes a day and is linked to all kinds of terrible diseases like cardiovascular problems, Alzheimer's, dementia, depression, obesity and to addictive behaviours and violence. Our brains are wired to feel like we are part of a tribe and it looks for love and acceptance. This internal experience of disconnection or rejection, this is at the heart of the problem. More of us than ever before are feeling its sting whether we are young or old, married or single, living in cities or even in remote villages. Loneliness hides in plain sight and we need urgent intervention. Harvard physician and public health researcher Jeremy Noel, he says it's time for PSAs. Something like this is your brain, this is your brain on loneliness. That's how urgent it is. Feeling disconnected from people we rely on for help and support, it triggers the body's stress response. You see, in the caveman times, when you were separated from your tribe, you needed your flight or fight response so that you don't end up on the lion's dining table. Today, it's no longer the same. You can survive on takeout and Netflix. However, unmet needs still trigger the old defense mechanisms, which is why people who are lonely have a lower immune system and upset stomachs, to name the most common. Now, once our fight or flight system is activated, we are more likely to fight others than to hug them, which is why the pain of isolation makes people more angry and more violent, which means it's difficult to connect with such people. You see the vicious cycle? When the fight or flight is in continuous overdrive, lonely people pay more attention to negative signals from others, interpreting judgment and rejection where it is not intended. Without being aware of it, they sabotage their own efforts to connect with others, which means statements like, why can't you just go out and find friends? They really holds no beef. So if this describes you and how you feel, I'm going to give you five simple steps to help you feel less lonely. Just start small. Chances are you avoid all conversation and helped along with low self-esteem, you really want to keep to yourself. Well, it didn't help, right? So start by making conversation with the checkout clerks in the supermarket. Something simple like, wow, that was fast. Or you have a lovely smile. You could also start simple conversations with people in your bus or trains. Of course, it will be super awkward at first, but we all have to start somewhere. Find your tribe. Now, this one is simple if you think about it. What's your interest? Reading? Sports? Music? Dog shelter? Find the local group. Meetup is a great option. And then for the first few times, go. Even if you don't feel like it. Chances are there will be plenty like you who are shy and want to talk only about their passion or interests. Good for you. Cuts through all that small talk crap. Join a gym. Why gym? Because one, that will get you to move your body. Two, when you go to the same place again and again, chances of finding like-minded people doubles. Or take up some competitive sport. 
Some of my really close friends are ones that I have met in my gym. We may not talk daily, but I know for sure that I can count on them. Why? Because if they are showing up on that yoga mat daily or on that treadmill, that means they are as committed and as disciplined as me and I can rely on them. Research shows that you need only three or four close friends for general well-being. It's really not that tough. Get off social media. You saw this one coming, didn't you? Loneliness seeps in when you think others are having fabulous clothes, fabulous partners, fabulous lives and not to mention their followers and you seem to have a drab life by comparison. Have you ever seen a movie trailer that made you buy the tickets for the first day first show only to realize that the best part of the movie was in that trailer? Well, that's what social media is. So give those fingers a break from scrolling miles on your phone and start moving your legs. Get up, go, smile. That's right. Work on your body language. Let it be more open. No one wants to approach someone who seems angry and grouchy all the time. Even if there's no friend as yet, act as if you're having the time of your life. Your brain, your brain cannot differentiate between real and imaginary. So pretend to be happy. Fake it. Keep smiling. Don't scare the people though. It makes people want to approach you. Now, I know that when you feel lonely, you also begin to have plenty of self-doubt. To help you on your way, I have a real simple tool that does not involve stepping out of your house. Would you like to use that first? This is a simple tool and I call it my done list. Why done list? Most of us battle with feeling of inadequacy and not good enough, mainly because we are always comparing ourselves to others. So here's what you do. Get out your journals and every day, Write five things that you've already accomplished, big or small. Even if you think it's insignificant. Remember what I told you? Your brain has no clue what is real and what is fictional. So we fake it till we make it. You completed your 10th grade, put it on your done list. You won fifth place in a running race, put it down. There were others who came sixth, 10th or 20th, right? You find that you can make conversations with really old people, put that down. Many can't. You speak well, got a job at first try, you made really good coffee, you were selected for school dance. Get the gist? We are not looking at huge achievements. Of course, you can put them down too. But look for the small ones that you've forgotten. I'm betting that once you start putting down your done list, you will find that there were plenty of stuff you had forgotten and that will give you a pretty satisfied glow. Your vibe will then increase. Remember, your vibe finds your tribe. Remember, stacks of people have times when they feel lonely, even in committed relationships, long-term marriages or among friends. So you're never the only one feeling what you're feeling. But the solution is always in action, not in moping about it. Even if you take a few or even one of the above steps, you will start to feel better. If all else fails, just start by hugging your dog. Hugging releases the happy hormones and is recommended as one of the medicines for loneliness. And if you're the sunny Pollyanna type, go hug a friend or a co-worker who seems to need it. Don't be put off by that tough facade. Loneliness kills. Which is why, please share this video with as many people as you can. You never know who may need to hear this today. Let's spread the light, folks.